Hey everybody, if you're just tuning in for the first time, welcome to the Muscle Function video series. My name is Becky. Uh, we'll be going over a muscle today. The muscle that I'm going to be going over is the supinator muscle. I will go over its location, which includes its origin, which is its starting point, and then follow that with the insertion, which is its ending point, and then I'll provide a photo after I pinpoint where the muscle is on my body. The photo is just to kind of clarify where this muscle is and what it kind of looks like. Then we'll follow that with its function. And then I'll finally provide you an exercise or two so you know how to strengthen this muscle. So let's start off with the location so we know where we're talking about and then we'll progress from there. So the origin of the supinator muscle lies on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and also the neighboring posterior surface of the ulna, okay? And then it inserts onto the lateral surface of the radius, of the proximal radius, just beneath the head of that, okay? So we're talking about around about the elbow joint, okay? So the supinator muscle, okay, like I said, it, it originates or starts, okay, on the lateral surface, which is the outside surface of the arm, okay? Uh, lateral is the furthest point away from the middle section, okay? So we're looking at the lateral surface of the epicondyle of the humerus, which is right about, right about in here, okay? And also the neighboring ulna, the posterior surface of that ulna, okay? So it's pretty much right beside your elbow right here. If you see that elbow bone, okay, it's right beside that, okay? That is where insert, or excuse me, originates from, okay, or starts from. So right here and right in here is where this supinator muscle originates from, okay? And then it inserts onto the lateral surface of the proximal radius just beneath the head, okay? So that's right around in here, okay? So this muscle is kind of shaped like this. Okay, just kind of picture my fingers being that supinator muscle. It kind of wraps right around here on the outside of your elbow right here. Okay, so now that we know where the muscle is, I will finally provide a photo so you know exactly what I'm talking about so there's no confusion. So here is that photo for you. Okay, so now that we know where this muscle is, now we can apply its function. So the function of the supinator muscle is to do pretty much what the muscle is called, it is to supinate your arm, okay? Now, this muscle comes into play mainly whenever extension and supination happen at the same time, okay? So, for example, if you were turning a screwdriver, okay, and trying to screw in a screw, okay, or if you're throwing a baseball, okay, those are kind of a couple examples in everyday life as to where this muscle would come into play, okay. So now that we know the function of it, how do we strengthen this muscle, okay. There's uh, one main way of doing it, but you can also come up with some creative ways. Um, I can... I will show you a couple examples that I have. Keep in mind you're not limited to, limited to any of these exercises. The more creative you get, possibly the more the stronger your muscle could get. But please be careful when you try new things. Make sure that you're not trying anything unsafe. Please keep in mind that it is a relatively small muscle, so you're not going to be using too much weight in order to strengthen this muscle. So, don't pull or strain any muscles. Please keep in mind your health is always best. It is better than worrying about your pride. So, no big egos. Check your ego at the door. It is a small muscle, so use light weight at first, okay? Uh, again, do, uh, it does work pretty much when extension and supination happens at the same time, okay? Whenever your elbow's bent, 
and supination is going on, you can see right here, my biceps are assisting with that, okay? So it's not going to isolate the supinator as well, okay? So we want to get that push and turn motion at the same time, okay? So here's a couple examples for you so you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? You can try them. Again, you're not limited to, so check them on out. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the exercise examples along with the entire video. I hope this has helped you. If it helped you, hit the like button, pass it along with the share to a friend or to whoever that may benefit from the video. Knowledge is power. And I hope you guys all have a great week and productive week as well. So I will see you guys next week. Have a great week.